while playing the tambura the instrument must be held upright and plucked at a height that aligns with the ears so that there is minimum loss of tone Here the Meeraj Tambura is placed on the lap. The Tanjavur or Trivandrum Tamburas are generally also placed on the lap. The left hand supports and holds the instrument in place on the Thumba or the Kodam while the right elbow is rested on the Kodam and the hand is almost parallel to the strings and is played. The Meeraj Tambura is neither fully on the ground nor on the lap as both dampen the sound of the instrument. The Trivandrum and the Tanjavur varieties of the Tambura are made entirely out of wood. But the Meeraj is made out of gourd and hence the contact between the human body and the instrument, the sound reacts very differently. I recently learned that the ideal way to sit while practicing with the Meeraj Tambura is like this. To place the instrument between the legs where the left leg is folded and firmly on the ground while the right leg is half folded and the right knee is used as a stand for the right elbow to rest on. It is actually extremely comfortable and it is possible to hold this position for long periods of time without fatigue. I have never practiced sitting like this but it is widely in vogue. In fact, because the Meeraj Tambura has such a wide and large base, when it is placed on the lap, to sing while placing the Meeraj Tambura on the lap becomes difficult because the size of the base then restricts the free breathing of the abdomen. So this position in fact makes it a lot easier and provides a rest for the arm that makes it a lot more comfortable to sit for longer periods of time. Placing it down horizontally like this and continuing to play the instrument is okay after a period of time when the ears are used to the sound of the tambura. But there may be minute differences in frequency when the instrument is laid down after it was fine tuned and played for a period of time when held upright. So the musician needs to take care of that. So where should the tambura be played? Some believe that it should be at the halfway point between the lower bridge and the upper bridge. Somewhere here, which is where I've been playing this tambura. Some believe that it should be at the two-third point from the lower bridge to the upper bridge, two-third measure from the lower bridge. So somewhere here. As you can see, the, the sound and the tone and the resonance is very different when I play it here as opposed to there. Okay. Some believe that in the South Indian Tamburas that the design on the Dandi is the right indicator for where the instrument must be played. I have been told that the lower point where the design finishes is generally the perfect place to play that particular instrument. But my theory however is that it needs to be played where the Jiva sounds the richest for that particular instrument. It is extremely possible that for this particular Meeraj Tambura, the halfway point is where the Jiva sounds the richest. While it is also possible that for this instrument, a little higher up, maybe two thirds of the way up is where the Jiva sounds the richest. So that has to be determined while tuning and has to be determined on an instrument to instrument basis. The position and the angle of the fingers also play a role on the sound. The fingers must be almost parallel to the strings and the inner fleshy part of the finger must be used to push the strings down.
they must not be plucked from the sideways which causes a sideways movement of the strings on the bridge thereby causing a distorted sound nails also have to be trimmed to make sure that they don't get caught in the strings care should be taken that the fingers don't hit the dandi or the fingerboard on the dandi or the patta very loudly because if the tambura is amplified then the sound of the finger hitting the wood will also be amplified the tambura can be played using any finger there is no specific rule however there is a traditional conventional method that is taught when a student is learning to play this instrument the middle finger is used for the panchama while the index finger is used for the other three strings the sarani anusarani and the mantra of course there are many exceptions to this i have seen musicians use their ring middle and the index finger in one cycle something like this the logic for this could be that since the middle finger is probably the thickest and probably the most powerful in terms of producing sound using the middle finger for the sarani then make sure that the sound of the sarani is the most prominent i have also seen musicians use the ring finger or the little finger for the panchama and then the index finger for the other three strings so this is absolutely up to each one's preference the important thing is that it should suit the overall sounding in terms of making sure that the tone and the volume are uniform throughout irrespective of which fingers are being used to play the tambura the amount of pressure applied is crucial to ensure this more pressure distorts and sends the tambura off pitch the harmonics tend to get mixed up and offer often an unpleasant experience less pressure does not bring out the harmonics so it is important to make sure that the best optimum pressure for your fingers for your style of playing is determined at a very early stage there are definite intervals of playing the tambura to bring out the optimum sound The preferred interval is 6 spaces where the panchama and the mandra take 2 spaces each while the sarani and the anusarani take 1 space each. 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 
and ensure that we create a professionally sustainable ecosystem for serious tambura artists to make a continuous livelihood from playing the tambura. The position of the tambura artist is extremely important and I believe they must be seated at an angle facing the musician with the point of contact directed towards the ears. Earlier paintings showed the singer performing with the tambura. Slowly concerts for larger audiences in a more public setting sent the tambura behind for someone else to play and provide support while the artist could move around more freely. With amplification coming into Indian classical music, the sound of one tambura gets drowned among all the other instruments on stage and the need for two arrows, thus giving birth to the idea of the pair tambura or the joda tambura. I have heard musicians say that Pandit Omkarnath Thakur sometimes sang with four tamburas because his bold voice demanded it. Here is a picture from a concert of his. I recently also came across a few videos of Vidushi Ashwini Bhide Desh Pandey playing a six-string tambura while singing to the support of two other tamburas being played behind her by her students. I remember even my guru once using four tamburas, placing them at different positions on stage and not having all of them pointed towards him. So ultimately, it is what each artist is comfortable with to create just the right atmosphere. 